I'm Emily. If you didn't know, I'm Shaylee's little big sister. <laughs> And we've been working from home all day in our pajamas, looking a fool, looking like lazy asses. Yeah, even when we're working and we're looking lazy, I still feel lazy. Anyway, we want to do something fun, so she glammed me up a little bit. Ah, ah. I feel like J-Lo. I think she looks like Cindy Crawford, we said, like 90s A little style. bit 90s vibe. I love it. It's the brown lip. It is. Love it. Anyway, I hope you love it. And... Just keep watching if you want to see how we got this look on M. What do you want to do, boo? Let's do a smoky eye with a nude lip and smoky super chiseled lip. cheeks. So I'm going to start how I always kind of do. I just like to put the fast response from MAC on under people's eyes. Emily doesn't really have a need for it, but I just think it makes the concealer go on really pretty. The fast response eye cream and the lip conditioner. And I'll just use that same brush. <laughs> Don't be Vanna and like show what I'm using. So who's Vanna? Vanna White. She's the one that taps the letters on um Oh, I've heard that name, but I didn't know what it is. I think that's her name. Vanna no, White. I think that's like a singer or something. No, it's <laughs> not. Look down. So now I'm just gonna put um soft ochre paint pot all over her eyelid. I need to Google it. It's painting me, I have to know. Vanna White. I'm pretty sure I'm right on this one. Will of Fortune. <laughs> I told you! I don't watch those shows. <laughs> it's like Bedrock. I forget what they're all called, but they're just like cool tone colors that are matte, sand dollar. So I'm going to use kind of these just as her transition shade. And Emily has a lot smaller eyes than me, like our eyelid area. So I always have to be really careful because I would blow this up really high on myself. But on her, I can't. But she can do a way better smoky eye than me. I look like I got punched in the face and she just looks all sultry and smoky. <laughs> I feel like you do smoky eyes all the time. I know, but I can't do like it up really high. Like I'll do smoky liner a lot. Oh yeah. This is gonna be weird because I feel like you rarely wear cool tones. I know, I don't. I, I don't know that I think they look that great on me. So good luck. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have like a cool skin tone. She likes everything very blendy, very blown out. So honestly, I'm just kind of fluffing these colors around more so than I would probably normally do, like on myself, but I know she likes everything like that, so. And that's why I'm doing it this way. Is that this vibe? So it's funny too, because when I got this palette, I said, oh my God, I want to put this color on my sister because it looks so pretty and do a smoky eye. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. But see how I'm tucking that like right deep in here? That's why I love this brush. This is a MAC 221, and it's basically the exact same thing I used to start with, like the 224, but um, shrink down so it's a lot more narrow. You can get deep in the crease. So those two were bandwagon and brownie points. I just swirl them together because I happen to have both sitting here. Mm. It's so pretty, Emily. Oh my god. It's like a duochrome, huh? Yeah, because it's like a slate charcoal -y, but it also has almost a little, almost even gold in it. I can tell which dog enters the room by the way they walk in. <laughs> so nothing's on this brush. I'm just kind of like softening that line and bringing a little of that shimmer, whatever gets caught on the brush, up. So I'm just going to go in with Smolder Eye. No, this is Feline Eye Coal actually for MAC. And just like push it against her uh, lash line. And then we're going to smudge that out with shadow so it does not have to be perfect at all. Emily doesn't like a ton of liner. So we're just doing it so there's darkness down there so we could hide the lash band. That shadow is kind of gold. Like now that it's on you, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Looks different. Smoky liner. So I'm using the step one skin equalizer from Makeup Forever. I love the smoothing one too. I love the matte one or the Mattifying and the smoothing one. Those are my two favorites. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. Let me sit on your lap. <laughs> For foundation, <laughs> we're going to be using face and body. Like my favorite. Um, this and the Kogendo are literally the exact same thing, but this is like $30, Kogendo $62. Um, so I just take this because it's really skin-like and very thin and it just looks super natural. And then I mix in some Cover FX drops to give her coverage. So I'm going to be using G40 because she's a tan motherfucker and C2. I might still even need to bronze her skin up quite a bit because I don't think I have a dark enough cover effects drops for her. We'll see. And then I just mix it with my 
MAC brush. This brush my mom bought me for my 16th birthday and I still have it. It's the first MAC brush I ever owned. So when people bitch about the price, just remember how long they last. <laughs> I've literally had this over 10 years. And because this is so thin, what I like to do is just paint it on. I've showed you guys this in one of my videos, but I basically just paint it on and it looks like I'm being crazy. But I just have worked with this a lot, so I know that it's super thin and everything. And I, then I take a beauty blender or like a real technique sponge and buff it in. But see how that still just looks like her skin? It's beautiful. I love the finish of face and body. I wish I had good enough skin to wear it completely by itself. Don't we all? Sister? Don't we all, I know. And then anywhere, you know, kind of step back and anywhere you want more coverage, you can totally just go in a little bit. What kind of lip should we do? Do you want to do like nude nude? I read an article that said your best lip color for you is just the same color as your nipples. <laughs> I was like, what does it look like in there? Alright, okay, we're going for like a taupey kind of cute. <laughs> for concealer, we're using our trusty NC30 MAC Pro Longwear. So same thing, I just like to kind of place that where I want and then buff it in with the beauty blender. I want to bring that smoky eyeshadow like all down underneath. I think that's going to look so pretty. So I feel like if you put eyeshadow too low on my little eyes, I look like a good punch in the face. Do you? Yeah. Well, we'll be careful then. So since I am going to take that dark color under her eyes, I really want her under eye to be very bright because we don't want her looking like she just said, like she got punched in the face. So I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder to set underneath her eyes so it keeps it nice and bright. Oh. <laughs> you breathe it in? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so now, all of you guys have been asking me how to use the Tande Chanel. So I'm going to show you on Emily. I like this stuff. Yeah. So you want to use something that's synthetic or like dual fiber. You don't want to use a natural hairbrush because then that's going to just like soak up all of your bronzer. But you literally just place it as if it was powder bronzer. It's really, really simple to use. It's really creamy and blendable. I love it because again, it looks, it's like the face and body. It looks really natural. So it doesn't look like we have a million layers on her face. So then you could do the same thing like on her cheekbones. Like we said, we really want to accentuate them because she has great cheekbones. <coughs> Sorry. You just kind of like place it where you want. I like to always dip way low, like under here. Like I would never bring mine up this much. You do a little apple? Yeah, just because I love making, like smile. I love bringing it right under the ball of her, the apple of her cheek, the ball of your cheek with the F. Cheek balls. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely seeing rings. They're green. Really? Like a dark green. Emily has a great jaw, too, so I also look for it. I always like to do that, too, just like accentuate it because she has such a pretty jawline. And then just to show you how to use it, like if I was going to use the Beauty Blender, you literally just pick it up like that and same kind of thing, like just press it in. So you can use whatever, you know, preference. Whatever you prefer. My, no, my nose is crooked. Oh, I see. Emily found out her nose is a little crooked just like mine. And it's like, you know what? I was doing girls makeup at MAC last weekend and like two of my appointments, her nose was a little bit crooked. And I feel like everyone's nose is crooked. You know what I mean? To a certain degree. Mine's only crooked on the end. Well, not only, but mostly. Well, prevalently. Prevalent. <laughs> I remember when I was like 16 con trying to like contour my nose. Really? And it would just always look crooked. And I'm like, what is that? That long ago? Maybe not that long ago. Maybe more like 20. Yeah, probably in Chico. You're right. I'm just putting a little bit too on the edge of her lips because that'll appear like they're more like turned out and providing a shadow. Like upturned. Do you know how people are getting fillers to make them like curly? I will, we're making yours. I don't like that. We're making yours curly for, for fake. Not for real, for fake. Is that that sparkly shit? No. <laughs> is that that sparkly shit? Hey, is that that sparkles? <laughs> so I'm gonna take, you know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna what test, do you do? I bet you're gonna tell us. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna test these things out because I've only used them on myself and I wanna see. You could probably just use one. Well, I wanna see how they're gonna <laughs> use, how they're gonna. Oh, that's not what I thought. If they're gonna leave a line. But this way we can make sure the, the darkness doesn't fall down. These are little shadow shields, but what I'm interested to know is if they like leave marks in her foundation, you know what I mean? So maybe it's a before, well that would make no sense. This could either really F us up or 
save our life, you know? So let's see. I feel like it's absolutely going to leave a mark. <laughs> I hope not. Okay, so I'm going to go in literally to these same little shades I was using before. I'll have everything listed in the down bar. Like right underneath her lower lash line. I'm going to buff it. Now I'm just taking a clean 217. There's nothing on here. and just kind of like making sure it's all buffed. And then I'm going to get crazy and pull the Kylie color down there too, I think. It's really fun doing Emily's makeup because no matter what I do, she just looks pretty. Oh my god. I'm dead serious. Like I'm just freaking flopping this stuff around and you look gorgeous. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Whew. Not too bad. No, not too bad at all. A little tiny bit. Okay, so let's go in with some blush. No, let's do bronzer. That's bronzer? No, this is... I totally changed my mind again. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> this is uh, our glass powders. Ambient lighting powders, and they're just pretty, and they look... Make the skin look like it's glowing from within. So you put it all over the place, eh? I'm not on me, because I have giant pores right here, but I don't feel like you do. So I'm just going to kind of fluff it around. This is my highlight? No, this is just pretty. I don't know. Now we're going to put on some pretty. It's going to really illuminate the entire look. <laughs> I'm zooming back in. You look so beautiful. Oh my god. Okay. Thank you. It's the, it's the ring light. <laughs> I wish when I get like rich and famous, or actually not famous, just rich, I'm going to have someone follow me around. Follow you around to the, the ring light. <laughs> so now I'm taking Betty Luminizer by The Mom. It's one of the prettiest bronzers if you want sparkle. I feel like it's just so pretty and shimmery. I'm just taking a fan brush and I'm just kind of hitting those spots where we went earlier with the tan de Chanel. Look toward me. Just like around the edges of the face. JLo does this and I'm in love with it. Like she always is so I bronzy. I feel like JLo today. Oh my gosh, anyway. she's so bronzy up here. I love it. I got on a tangent stalking her Instagram last night and it was a joyful experience. You know what's embarrassing to me is like she's what, late 40s? She and might she, be 50 at this point. I don't even know. And she looks like a hotter body than I ever could have in my 20s. Like. She wore this dress at an event recently, and it there's like cutouts that cover her nipples and oh, like yeah. her it vagina. Was her, it was her birthday. Everything else. And you could see her freaking her abs. Abs through it. Smile. I like to keep Emily's cheeks very like super modely looking. So I like that too. I'm not going to bring it too far in. Otherwise, she'll get that like roundness. I always bring mine in too far, but I have a really round face, so I feel like I kind of like to make it more so. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to look round, but I don't mind, like, looking all smiley and, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cherry. 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 I don't know why, but I feel like your under eye is not bright enough for me, so I'm going to go in. How weird would it be if you can close your eyes up? Like, what? <laughs> like, if I could just go. Oh, my God. I love <laughs> this, what I'm doing. I... I love this look. Like, don't you remember when Kim K would highlight under here a shit ton? No, I don't. I still love it. That thing did leave a little mark right here. That shadow shield, that damn shadow shield. Emily has the best eyebrows ever, so I'm just kind of combing through these, and then I'm going to just draw little hairs, like just to thicken them up with pomade. But I want to keep them looking messy and full. I'm going to use this MAC one, it's called Dirty Blonde, and I'm just going to scoop some of that out and mix it with a little Duraline from Inglot, like I told you guys I've been loving. Mimosa. Oh, you went for a bright color for your nails too. I did. It's called Cajun Shrimp by OPI. Oh my god, that sounds really good. <laughs> I 
Ellie is breathing so fast. Maybe her heart just beats that fast. I'm gonna so take sweet. mimosa and crushed pearl. I love just playing, like I love this. Because with brides, obviously I love doing that, but it's like, you have to be so careful because it's such an important day. Look up. Like the last thing you want is them to not feel beautiful and like they're wearing too much makeup. But when it's like Sorry, you're just going out, that's <laughs> okay. Taking around. When you're just going out to dinner, it's like, what's the worst that's gonna happen? You know what I mean? You could wash it off. Um, because this is my sister, I'm using this mascara wand like this. If this was a client, like, and this is my own mascara. So I'm breaking the rules because I know that she's not going to give me anything or I'm not going to give her anything, but a client, no. <laughs> a client I would use like a disposable wand for sure. And I would not use this mascara too. Perfect. Okay. okay. I'm using this new mascara from L'Oreal. I used it on myself today. I liked it. It's drugstore obviously, and it's kind of shaped like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but it's definitely not as wet as that mascara. If that makes sense. I feel like that sounds kind of weird. But that one's like really goopy and like, I don't know, I feel like you don't get as much product on your eyes with this one. With this one or the other one? This one. Let's do your lips while waiting for your eyelashes. Like, do I need lashes? Um, you're putting on lashes because it's my video. What are you using? This is called Strip Down and it's like a beautiful brown and nude. Are you over drying this shit? Yeah. You don't even do it to yourself. I, oh, you don't think I overdrew my lips? Okay, you did. They're little. so overdrawn, it's ridiculous. Because Emily was talking the whole time I was trying to outline her lips. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because I messed oh up God. and kind of went weird. We're gonna um, take a little bit of Studio Fix powder on an angle brush and just kind of crisp up the edges. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a Kylie lip kit, like a brown one. Is that one of those ones that you put on and it's like this flat matte situation? Yes. How do you feel about that? I like that stuff. I feel like I could do do things and it doesn't move around. Yeah. Well, I haven't tried that, but... This is my absolute favorite lip brush, 231, from MAC. I don't even think it's a lip brush. I think it's an eye brush. But one of the artists that I got to work with in San Francisco on that Black Friday thing I did, she was busting out red lips like no other. Like, boom, 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 red lip done. And I was watching her, and I went over and talked to her, and she said this was her favorite brush, and it just helped. And she was right. I love it. So that is birthday suit. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit of naked. Ooh, don't these smell like delish? They smell like cake. Just right in the middle and have her mush. Let's make my uh, thing darker. Your mole? I'm darkening this the mole. This one's tiny. This one's tiny. You're real careful. And then let me take like this and just like. I like the mold. I do too. Oh, it's so pretty because it just gives it that extra oomph. I'm just gonna pop that gold in your waterline and then we can do our intro, okay? Oh, this pencil is so beautiful. It's like a cool gold. And so it's hard to find the appropriate time to use it. You know? Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Emily. <laughs> I love that one. Hi, Ellie Boo, I love you. 
Do you want to watch it back? Make sure you like it. My butt's sweaty. <laughs>